What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today we're gonna to take a look at how we could use substance materials natively inside of Unreal Engine using a substance material plugin. Now to get started, I'm on the Epic Launcher. And if I come right here where we see Marketplace, I'm just gonna left click on this here. And then once we're inside the Marketplace, I'm just gonna come over to search and I'm gonna type in substance. And it's called Substance 3D for Unreal Engine. And if you scroll down, it's gonna say free here. And once you grab it, you can install the engine. I know it says 4.27 down here, but really it only works with 5.1 to 5.3. If I click on Install Engine, you can see right here, slot the add plugin. I already have it installed at 5.3, but you can select what version you wanna install it right here. Now I'm inside of Unreal Engine 5.3 right now. I already have my model right here. This is the substance guy used for materials. You know, if you wanna check your materials out, but let's make sure that we activate the substance plugin. Now, if I come up here to edit, come down here to plugins, I'm just gonna type in substance in the search. And right here, you can see it has substance for Unreal Engine 5. We have the Adobe logo. You can see that we don't have it activated. So I'm just gonna click on this. And then down here in the lower right hand corner, you're gonna see restart now. So you're just gonna need to restart that. So once Unreal Engine restarts, you'll see a button at the top of the screen in which if I come right here, right next to the play button, if I scroll over it, you can see that it says Substance 3D. Now, if we left click on this, you can see that we have two marks here. One that says 3D Assets and one says Community Assets. So if you click on it, it's actually gonna take you to the web browser URL in which once you click on the top one, that's gonna bring you to the Asset Store from Adobe Substance. Now, if you scroll down, like if I click on Material, you notice that it's gonna say that you need a subscription to download any of these. So you can only grab these ones if you actually have an Adobe Substance account, in which I don't, I just have the Creative Cloud. But if I go back to Unreal Engine, and I come back over here to this tab and come down here to Community Assets, we can actually download all the free ones from the community. So now if I scroll down, you can see that we actually have download buttons down here in which, let me come over to maybe Glass, because there was a cool Glass one that I saw earlier, which this one right here. So if I click on this, you can see on the right hand side, it's gonna say download file. You can give it a thumbs up if you want, it tells you how many downloads, it tells you how many years ago it was created, and then it tells you what it's compatible with and which we don't have the Unreal Engine logo, but as long as it's an SBAR file, you are able to use it. So I'm just gonna download this file right here, and I'm gonna show you how we could use these inside of Unreal. But before I do that, let me actually go back because we do have a category here for smart materials. So if I come over here, maybe to like brick, now, if I download this file, you can see up here, this is actually a SPSM file, which is, this is a smart material file, and these won't work inside of Unreal, only the SBAR files here. Well, I say SBAR, but it's S-B-S-A-R. So if it has this file format, we could use it. If it has a smart material, we can't use it. So inside of my file explorer, I have a couple of materials that I downloaded. Let me start with the smart material one, just to show you guys that it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna drag it into my content browser, down here in the lower right hand side, you can see failed to import. Again, this was the smart material, but let me actually just bring in a regular substance material. So if I left click, drag it into my content browser, now we're gonna have the substance import options in which I'm gonna leave everything on as default. The only thing that you might wanna change is right here where it says substance standard template we can actually do it as triplanar. So even if you don't have your geometry with UVW maps on there, you can actually use triplanar to still use these materials in which you actually might wanna use this one anyway, because this is gonna add a lot more attributes to your material. So if I import this one right here, and let me scroll up my content browser, you can see we have all the materials that are associated with it. We have the substance graph instance. We have this right here, which we're not gonna use. And then we have a material instance as well, in which we're just gonna left click drag this onto our geometry and it's as easy as that. So if I actually come back down here and let me double click on this right here that has a substance logo, that's gonna bring up this editor here in which let me scroll in here a little bit because we can see this up close that this is actually only a 1K material. Now, if I come down here, the output size, if I left click on this, you could do up to 8K here. I'm just gonna do 4K and you can see that snap in. And now we actually have this material at a higher resolution. Again, you could go up to 8K, but 4K should be suffice for now. Now, if I scroll down even further, you can see that we have some tiling options here. We can actually change a lot of these attributes in here, the roughness if you want to, and you can even change out some of the color as well. So this is something that Adobe actually put together, but you can still come down here. Let me actually exit this out and you can still change some stuff inside the material instance. So if I double click on this, you can see that, you know, just normally how we would have it inside of Unreal Engine, we have all these attributes as well, in which if you use World Align, 
this is how you would actually line it up if you don't have a UVW map, which I already do on here. But if you didn't, you would just click these on and everything will line up for you. And let me come back over here. Let's maybe add the circuit board one because I'm going to add this in differently. So if I left click and drag this in and instead of triplanar, I'm actually just going to use the standard template in which I'm going to click import on this. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to change out this material. I'm just going to use the circuit board one here. And then down here where we have the substance logo, double click on this. And same thing, I could just bring it up to 4K. And you can see that it's actually going to snap the resolution up there a little bit. There we go. It's a lot higher resolution now. But if I scroll down, you can see we actually can't scroll down because we don't have any of the attributes. And this is what it looks like once you bring it in as standard. Let me exit this out and let me actually go to the material instance for it which is right here so i'm going to double click on this we could basically just change out some of the material nodes in here but that's about it we don't have a lot of different options in here to change it out so that's the difference between using standard and triplanar so you would want to use this more if you already have your your geometry with a uvw map and you just want to drag and drop stuff on here and not really change it out that's the way you would use with standard but if you want to have a lot more control over your material then you bring it in as triplanar so hopefully this helped you guys out just wanted to bring this to your attention that this plugin is actually free inside the marketplace so you can just grab it go to the community page and start downloading some more materials you know just in case there was something that wasn't maybe in the mega scans material library you now have some alternative materials so if this did help you out make sure you hit that big thumbs up down there subscribe to the channel if you're new and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you in the next video i see you soon take care